Hello guys, it's Goldie X here and welcome to Grand Theft Auto 3. This was the first Grand Theft Auto game to be released on the PlayStation 2 and the first game of the franchise to go into the 3D perspective. This game has been considered by many to be a massive landmark in the open world concept because when this game released, nobody had ever seen an open world game quite like this before. Well, I do think this game does feel a bit overshadowed in my eyes due to the prequels that came out after this with Vice City and San Andreas, but this game was very revolutionary for when it was released back in 2001 as being considered as one of the best video games ever created. Well, I would not go as far as to say it's one of the best games ever made or one of the best games in the GTA franchise, but Grand Theft Auto 3 really did put the GTA franchise on the map and, honestly, and I honestly don't think the GTA series would be what it is today if it wasn't for this particular game. GTA 3 is also the last game that takes place chronologically in the 3D GTA universe and now I've finished San Andreas we're now going to take a look at the GTA game that basically started it all, in the 3D perspective that is. Alright, let's dive into Grand Theft Auto 3. City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Your dickhead. It's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost.
know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. I'll happily drive here. Before we go any further, I'm going to quickly make sure the sound's turned down a little bit. As you know, so from GTA 3, something I'm going to quickly point out quick is that when I first played this game, I was very surprised to see this game does not have a map. When I first played this game, that really bugged me actually. It actually stopped me playing this game for a while. Eventually, I did come back to it for a bit. This game not having the map was something I found really irritating my first play this game, considering I played the Vice City games and Liberty City stories before this. Seeing this game didn't have a map, that actually kind of really bugged me a bit when I first played this game as a kid. Okay, so I want to quickly go to audio. I just want to turn the radio music down a little bit because I do not want to get loads of copyright claims on the video. Unfortunately, I'd have to do this for every GTA game, unfortunately. I'll, I'll leave the music up a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, I think that'll do. Now, unfortunately, I have to do this, guys, due to copyright claims, unfortunately. Right, let's go find somewhere to lie low. Yeah, Claude is one very lucky man indeed. So, story-wise, this game takes place nine years after the event of GTA San Andreas, and this game continues off the story of Claude and Catalina. We all knew how much of a crazy woman Catalina was back in San Andreas, and Catalina is no different nine years later than what she was back in San Andreas. And eventually, Claude learned the hard way about Catalina, Catalina stabs Claude in the back, Claude's left for dead, Claude's arrested by a policeman, Claude got very lucky back there, getting away from the police. So this game basically, the story of this game is basically Claude trying to get revenge on his ex-girlfriend. That's pretty much the main story of this game. Yeah, it continues off the story of San Andreas a little bit in a way, not by too much. This is the place right here, let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Yeah, I need some money. If I was to get revenge on Catalina, we're going to need some money and some weapons. So, as Claude's been stabbed in the back by Catalina, Claude needs to get into the criminal industry, well, get, earn a battle with criminal gangs in the area so he can learn, find out where Kathleen is, and eventually we can track her down. Let's go around the back and use the service door. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Say hello to 8-Ball, lady. 8-Ball's got some business upstairs. Or maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Just like that, we got our first mission. So we need to get a vehicle and go pick up one of Luigi's girls. Pick up a girl called Misty. Let's go prove our worth to this guy. I mean, the one of the issue I have with GTA 3 is that, compared to Vice City and San Andreas, I know this game was the first GTA game to go 3D and in the 3D universe and that, but still. I feel like this game lacks a lot of personality compared to Vice City and San Andreas. I mean, every time you activate a mission, all they do is tell you how to do this mission, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you can learn a bit about their personality throughout the game, but it's not like as obvious as it would be in Vice City, where Vice City, where they added a lot of personality, gave it the 80s vibe, and it added so much personality to the game. This game, while it has a very dark tone compared to the other GTA games, I just don't think this game has as much personality. I think that's what makes this game easily the most forgettable out of the three GTA games. I think that's this game's biggest weakness compared to the other two games, in my opinion. Not that this game is terrible in any way, but that's one thing about this game that definitely makes this game feel a bit weaker compared to the other two GTA games we've played. Just like that, our first mission is done. So let's go check out Luigi's place and let's go do another mission for him. Let's see if we've proven our worth to him. Luigi. 
Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult! So pick up the bat. Finally got our first weapon. We can use L2 and R2 to cycle our weapons, but I really know how to do that from the other two GTA games. This is going to be fun. Finally you get into the good stuff. Okay, what's the other radio stage we got available quickly? Uh, how do I change? Ah, L1 button. Just like another game. So Rise FM has always been my favourite radio station in Grand Theft Auto 3. I love the music that Rise FM has. Flashback FM is also a good radio station as well because Flashback FM, every song in Flashback FM is always a song from the film Scarface, which I think is very cool. The Scarface soundtrack is very good. I'm just going to run this pimp over. Fake! No, nope, maybe not. He knew what I was going to do. Too late, buddy. I'm not even going to hit him in the bat. I'm just going to keep running him over. There we go. Sweet, we got his car. Now let's go get his car resprayed. He's lived a jar radio. No, I'm going to put Rise FM. This is my favourite. So you probably won't be able to hear the music very easily, but yeah, Rise FM had some very good songs on it. Kind of more my kind of music I listen to. A bit similar to nightclubish kind of music. It's very like dancey kind of music, you know what I mean? Not that I'm a dance myself, but yeah, that's the kind of music. It, it just brings a lot of good thoughts to your mind. Do you know what I mean? So we've got a paint spray just over here. I need to remember where this paint spray is because we're going to be using this paint spray very frequently for some moments in this game. Many cars in this game don't have that much health, especially in this game. I, I don't know whether it's just me or whether the he cars in this game have the least amount of health compared to all the other GTA games in my opinion. I don't know whether it's just me that thinks that or not, whether it's actually true or not. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Stash the car in the Luigi's lockout. I just want to make sure this car stays nice and clean while I take it back to the Luigi's. Make sure it's all in one piece. So the game starts off very simple. We introduce you to like the mechanics of the game, how the game works with certain things and yeah, but things will get massively will get much harder afterwards and a police on my tail. Uh oh. I don't think so. Sorry right, mate, I'm in a hurry. So this is Luigi's lockup. Car in here, and that's the mission done. Got us a nice amount of money. Every time you complete the mission in this game, you get a nice amount of money from it as well, which is very handy because there isn't really many ways to earn money in this game apart from completing missions. You can do taxi missions and police missions in this game, but GTA 3, in my opinion, is, is easily the hardest way to earn money in this game. But there is actually a cheat code you can put into the game where you can unlock about $250,000 each time you put the cheat code. And I'll show you guys that cheat code a little bit later in the episode. I will show you guys that a little bit later on. Okay, so let's go make our way back to Luigi's and let's go get some more. So this is Flashback FM. This is another one of my favorite radio stations in the game. Just because it's playing the Scarface soundtrack. I think Push It to the Limit's got to be my favourite song in Scarface. I had it on a combo. What am I going to do? Hey, 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 I got to talk to you. All right, Mick, I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo Turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road, and off Misty. Don't worry mate, Misty's not really my type. Okay, let's go pick up Misty and take her to Joey's. Okay, Misty is just here. This game takes place October 2001, because that's when this game was released. Press every out of a horn and Misty will come out.
I'll be the best driver in this city, as long as CJ doesn't come here. Remember, CJ did beat Claude in the race, and Catalina still went for Claude. As I was saying for that cut, you know, this game takes place in October 2001, because that's when this game was released. This game did get delayed actually a few weeks from release because of the 9-11 attacks, because they had to redesign some of the police cars in the game. I don't know if they had to design ambulance cars or not, but there was a certain mission in this game that had to be cut out, which involved blowing up a building. Obviously, I can understand why that mission was cut out because of the 9-11 attacks at the time. So yeah, this game was pushed back a few weeks because of that. Yeah, so this game was scheduled for release still just after when 9-11 happened, but this game came out three weeks even later as a result of that because some of the changes that Rockstar had to do to the game. I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? So we've got two people now who we can work for. If Luigi doesn't work out eventually, we still got Joey for work. You would think so, anyway. Okay, I think we've got time for one more mission again. I think we'll do one more mission for Luigi. Yeah, I think we'll meet Joey in the next episode. Maybe. Yeah, I imagine once we've done enough missions for Luigi, Joey's mission will be the ones available, so eventually, well, I imagine we will be doing missions for Joey in the next episode. Oh, shit. Okay, more clumsy driving. As we've seen from my vice seat in San Andreas, let's play as I can be a very clumsy driver. It can be very funny at times, but sometimes it, but it does annoy the hell out of me, though. And we're going to definitely see some more clumsy driving for me in this game. At least you actually do get a bit of money when you blow up your vehicles in this game, though. Okay, I think we've got time for one mission. Let's go see what this mission involves. Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Amnon Nation opposite the subway. Okay, so we're finally going to get ourselves our first gun in the game. Nice. Actually, tell before we go, actually, I'm going to quickly show you private game. I'm going to quickly show you guys the cheat to where you want to earn yourself more money in the game the easiest way. To earn $250,000, the cheat code is... I'll leave this code on the screen as well so you guys can look at it for yourself. So the cheat code is R2, R2, L1, L1, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up. So I'm just going to quickly put that cheat code in now so you guys can see it. R1, R2, L1, L1, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up. There you go, there's a the money cheat. So I've got $250,000 arrows. I'm going to quickly do that one more time. R2, R2, L1, L1, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up. So that is the money cheat again. So if you keep inputting that cheat code every single time, you will get $250,000 as a result. I mean, it really is the best way to earn money. I know it is cheating in a way, but still. Since GTA 3, you can't take over any businesses. I like Vice City and San Andreas. And yeah, GTA 3, I feel like it's easily the hardest way to earn money. But I'm going to quickly go inside ammunition and spend some money if I can. But I think all the weapons Luke are out of stock. Yes, they piece. are. I thought they would be at this point. But luckily for me, there's a gun round the back, which Luigi said I could have. Let's go grab it. Got myself a pistol. Very nice. Okay, so scroll through my weapons. I've only got two weapons, so I've got myself my first pistol. Good. Right. Let's go pay these boys a visit. As we've got a gun, we know things are going to get a bit ugly, but I don't need to be very careful because I've got a gun. I don't have to be careful. i got a gun. Are they coming out? Yes, they are. All right. Perfect. I should probably run this one. Actually, no, that's not. Well, the app, the D app, what is it? What I'm going to quickly do, actually, I'm going to trap, I'm going to trap him. Oh, uh-oh. Should have quickly get some distance away. I, I was not expecting him to have a shotgun. Is he making a run for it? Yes, he is. Okay, this is not going quite to plan. I need to say, oh, fuck, I need a vehicle. Okay, that did not go the way I wanted it to. Learn to drive, asshole. That did not go quite the way I wanted to. That did not go to plan. Oh, no, now the police are on my tail. 
Oh, done it. The car just blew up. Ha <laughs> ha. Fuck how lucky was that. Before I go, I'm going to quickly pick up the submachine gun. Okay, the police are off my tail as I've picked that mission very nice. That I completed that mission just time. That did not go to plan at all, but I've finally done it. We're done. So what I'm going to quickly do is I've... It's really annoying this game doesn't have a map though. That's easily the most frustrating thing about this game. I think there's a message that came up saying there was a pistol now in stock. Yes. Definitely going to pick up more ammo quickly. I feel like the guns in this game are easily more ex the most expensive in GTA 3 out of Vice City and San Andreas. I know Vice City and San Andreas has a bit more variety when it comes to buying guns, but I feel like GTA 3, when you purchase like pistols, some machine guns, I feel like they're easily the most expensive in GTA 3. But you'll earn plenty of money with complete mission. With the money cheat I just showed you, you can easily get enough money to purchase these weapons, so it's not a problem. Okay, so I think I've done quite a few. I've done five missions for this episode, so I think this will be a good time to end this episode off. So I think what we'll do is we'll head to the safe house, save the game, end the episode, and next episode we'll go complete some missions, more missions for Luigi first, as he's the closest to the safe house. Maybe I'll do a mission or two for Joey, we'll meet Joey properly in the next episode, maybe, I don't know, but we'll wait and see. I definitely need some more health, that's for sure. I'm just going to quickly go in here and save my progress. Very nice. Should I put my taxi in here? Yeah, I don't see why not. Screw it. Put my taxi in there. Okay, so as we've done five missions for this episode, this will be a good time to end this episode off and we'll continue off the missions in the next episode. I think we'll go see Luigi first and maybe if Luigi has got any mission available, we'll then go see Joey afterwards maybe if we get time. Okay guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. We'll keep up to date with the Grand Theft Auto free episodes to my channel. And next episode, we'll go to see Luigi, complete some more missions for Luigi and maybe go see Joey as well, if we get time that is. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. This is GoldieX and I'm out.